Yo, it's Stevie-O here. We are back, and it is a nasty, rainy day out there. It's 41 degrees, and it is raining hard. Uh, I really want to get in the field. Uh, the ground temp is actually warmer than the surface temp, so... Ah! It's going to be nasty out there, but we need to get ready for tillage. And also, we need pigs to feed, so let's get to it. It is really a nasty day out. I mean, look. Woo! It is nasty. Let me show you the weather here quickly on the computer. Oh, man, it's going to be raining all the way to midnight. And probably till noon tomorrow. Ugh. That's not good. But even though it's raining, we still have to get ready for tillage. We have a lot of grass to till up this year. So let's get to it. Uh, so... I think I'm just going to drive the truck. First off, let's go feed the pigs. Shut this door. I guess I really need to get this uh, snow blower put away and the bobcat put in. So obviously all the snow is disappearing. So this is some nasty, slushy, wet snow here. So we'll have to make sure we stay away from it. Start our truck. The good news is, is my real life truck may be in game in the server here soon. So the modder and us are doing some little testing. So Buck, you know him on the server, he's been working on it hard. He's been spending a lot of hours on it. He's been working on a truck to match my 2018 three quarter ton Denali. So I can't wait to start playing with that in game here. So that's going to be a awesome truck to drive around so all you guys that say I don't like uh, General Motors is I actually drive a General Motors every day and I love it dirty max for life we're gonna go down here so I did end up fixing our gravity wagon that we broke the axle off on so now we have to take that over to feed the pigs cuz they are almost starving they don't have no food so it's been so snowy, so nasty out, we've just been neglecting feeding them. So we need to get to over to start feeding them quickly. So we'll leave this truck right here. Go jump in our 5088. Hopefully this starts up good. Not freezing. But still kind of hard for these things to start. Alright, now let's start it up. We'll let it warm up a little bit here. So, if you don't remember, this axle was broken off. So we actually welded it back on. It's nice. So we had to... The steering rod and everything was broke off. So that was a hard task because this trailer was full. So that wasn't the easiest task. Uh, also, it was on a slant when we ended up breaking it, so we had to get it to a flat surface like this, but now it's good to go. So now the pigs need fit. So we have 680 bushels in this gravity wagon here. So I don't think our uh, automatic feeder will be able to take all that. So I would like to someday get another gravity wagon, just so I don't have to keep... Uh, switching them out between them all so I actually have the wheat stored in our bins by our place and I have some corn that I purchased stored in our silos here some wet corn in our silos so we will go around the back side I need to stay away from these snow drifts because this gravity wagon does not like them snow drifts don't need to break another axle, that's for sure. Hopefully in like a day or so, all these snow drifts will be gone and this nice muddy conditions will be out of here. So I did end up uh, getting our other Ford uh, truck over. It's been pulling the water tank. So it's sitting over there right now. Alright, now we'll start filling her up. 
Wow, it, they only took like 40 uh, bushels there. So maybe I need to invest in like a smaller trailer because uh, I really don't need this big of a gravity wagon to haul back and forth. I don't know. I, I'll have to look around, keep my eye out for a good deal. Because now we have to empty this into our silos. I'm going to put it in the other silo over here. So we did save back some wheat from our harvest last year. So we sold a lot of it. Primarily trying to buy some pigs, buying this uh, land and the pig barn over here. Do have some uh, plans to uh, do some modification to this area here. But uh, right now the ground's a little bit cold still. So the frost is just starting to break loose. It's early spring. So we just went through one nasty winter, if you remember. So there was huge snow. At one time, I think we had three foot of snow. That's a lot. A lot of snow. This gravity wagon is not the fastest unloader, so sorry. We're waiting over here. We're not going to put as much uh, corn in it. Because uh, pigs do need some corn, too. Oh, man, I didn't shut it off quick enough and it ended up filling up the whole entire trailer. Oh well, I guess we will put the tarp on really quick here. There, now that tarp's on, so let's get in here. Definitely don't want even wet corn to be under the rain like that. So, probably be smart when we're looking for another trailer, at least get a trailer that we can tarp. Seems like it rains a lot here in Iowa. Stay away from the snow drifts means we basically overfilled our wagon with way too much corn. Alright, now we can uh, give them some corn to feed. Yep, like I thought. They only took like 40 bushels, so that's kind of sad. So let's go look at these pigs quickly. So here's our pigs. So we have about almost a hundred pigs now so a little bit under uh, fairly good amount so I'm not sure how many pigs we could probably fit in this barn I do want to have a uh, breeding barn put up so somewhere out there I need to put up a breeding barn and this could be our fattening barn that's the plan anyway all right door shut uh, I guess we could take uh, back our uh, Ford truck here. Start this old girl up. This is a good sounding truck too. So, would like to sell this truck one day, but right now I don't really have any takers. So, to me, I I like this truck, but it just has some annoyances that that's why I don't really drive it a lot. Other news is I did buy a tractor and a disc from a local auction that they had here. So I need to go pick them up. So if you don't know, we have a lot of ground to actually uh, disc up. So I thought I would need another tillage tractor. So my, uh, so my 8100 really isn't big enough for most tillage implements, so I thought I needed another tillage size tractor to uh, help out the 4960 that I have. So I saw a great deal on one of the local uh, auctions, so I ended up buying a another disc, almost the exact same as this disc, and another tractor. I won't spoil that until we go see it. Uh, one of my favorite tractors out there, that's for sure. So now the question is, which Mack truck do I drive? So if you don't know, we took contract with uh, Mack uh, Truck Company. So they brought some of their brand new trucks. And I need to test them out. I need to make sure I know exactly what kind of truck semi I'm selling to the customers here. So I have... Uh, matte black truck here and I have a white
pearl truck over here. So uh, I'm thinking I kind of like the white pearl with the black accents in front. I think that's going to be the truck we're going to take today. Look at that. It starts up. Has automatic windshield wipers. That's kind of nice. So this is definitely an upgrade we have here. This truck is nice. Let's get some hot air going here because it is chilly out there. Chilly to me at least, so. Kind of like how this truck has uh, the blind spot mirrors on the hood. A little bit of an eyesore, I think, on the exterior, but when you're in the truck here, it is really nice to have them blind spot mirrors. So we are going to hook up to our long trailer. I'm hoping that will be adequate to hold both the tractor and the disc. Alright, so we got this trailer hooked up. The Trail King trailer. So I'm hoping this trailer is actually going to be wide enough for this disc not to overhang too much in this tractor. We will see. Or I need to make sure it's actually long enough too. So it's going to be pretty close. Because should be long enough I hope it's like the road company or maybe Jake left that uh, snow plow over there so maybe it broke down I don't know exactly what's going on with that but definitely probably don't need a snow plow anymore I'll we'll have to see if they need some help getting that back over I really like the front end of this tractor so the Mac Anthem so it has a sleeper on the back, has all chromes, it actually has a uh, front uh, cattle guard on it for uh, Jake and Austin's cattle when they get out so I don't uh, break up my uh, bumper when I plow over them. Nah, uh, just kidding. You always make need to have a cattle guard on these trucks because you just can't stop quick enough. Uh, seems like everything's working pretty good. Oh man, there's a Corvette still out in that field. Why that thing's out there. Man, I bet that owner would like that back on the road. Alright, so we're just pulling around here. We gotta go around the big snow drifts. Uh, so our tractor's right over there to the side in our disc. Uh, I think we will just park this trailer right over here in this nice little uh, dirt area. Nice and flat area, let's say. Uh, and then we will unfold the trailer. There it goes, it's unfolding. Very nice. I believe this uh, old girl started. So I think this is a good enough ramp to get both that uh, tractor and that disc on. So this is our tractor. So, it is a 7250. So, I think this would just pair nicely with the 4960. So, basically, these were about made at the same time period. So, kind of nice for that. Uh, this is a front wheel assist, just like our 4960. We're going to primarily use this for uh, tillage operations. This has uh, three remotes on it. Uh, it does have Ag Leader driving on it. So GPS driving, so it has an Ag Leader uh, screen and an Ag Leader driving, so it will auto steer. When this tractor was uh, built in the factory, there wasn't any uh, auto steer really available at that time. Let's get this over and uh, put this on our uh, disc here. I think this would be a good team, so this is basically going to be our tillage team here. So now, we need to drive it up onto our trailer. Very carefully drive this thing up to go. I'm hoping this goes far enough up. We might have to hop this over. Alright, so now we got it hopped up there. So it looks like we're going to have a lot of hitch weight. We're just going to have to deal with that because I couldn't really back this up. So I couldn't really back this up and get this disc to hop over this uh, raised hitch 
right there, so that's gonna have to just be how it is. So we'll have to drive. This is a semi. It can take this weight in the front anyways. But everything looks good. So we'll have to take it nice and easy going home. Shut, shut our tractor off here. Strap it down. Now let's raise our uh, ramp here. You guys may notice a little bit of lag. So thank Giants for their patch. Every time they do a patch... No matter what, your game just lags like this. I don't know if it just has to read the new uh, game into your uh, PC, but it just happens. So this is the, I have the 1.5 patch. I really don't have an option not to have the patch because I have a Steam game. But it is what it is. Sorry about the lag. So hopefully that corrects itself. Usually if you just play for a couple hours and then it just goes away. But that should be gone here soon, hopefully. We will start heading home. Gotta go real slow. We're gonna actually turn around in this field. Alright, so far it's traveling pretty good, so everything's staying together. So I really like how it it's riding right now, so that's nice. Hopefully we can get this back without no issues. Uh, I'm really liking this semi. Seems like this trailer only really wants to go at like 30 mile an hour. No matter what semi you put on it. So I don't know exactly what's with the trailer. Or we have a rear seal going out or something like that. But we'll have to take a look at this trailer and put it in our garage see if we can find anything wrong with it so all this equipment's still riding good so we're still we're just on the home stretch here man it is really wet and sloshy around here with all this rain we're getting i hope this doesn't prevent us getting in the field soon in this uh spring so i'm really glad we have a few melting days there and all the snow melted off because i was getting worried that we we're gonna have some we're going to wait too long and have a late planting because we couldn't get in the field soon enough. So, going to take this turn real slow here. I'll pull this right up here to this our new fancy shop up here. Really liking our shop. Just so big, I can almost put all my implements in. I do have plans to put another dry storage over here and like I said before we're gonna put some type of breeding barn I am looking around for one now I'm gonna put it over somewhere around here I'm just gonna change up this little appearance I just think I can make it look better all right we'll leave that right there and we'll unhook this and unfold we're on take this off the trailer here in a little bit so now we got to start up our 4960 get in the garage here so if you don't know we found this 1480 here so old combine one of the first rotor combines made so pretty big it was the biggest combine case made in its day or international harvesters made back in the day so I'm kind of like to get this all fixed up maybe use it this fall combine some uh, maybe uh, use it this summer for wheat and use this in the fall for uh, possibly uh, use this in the fall for the soybeans so it'd be kind of fun kind of supplement our old uh, bee spine over here uh, we did get, finally get our corn head inside that's nice I still need to get this 8100 to uh, Platte Valley so I can get some duels put on it. I want to get some, a few other uh, add-ons. Like I need uh, some type of ag leader or some type of auto steer. Whether it's John Deere or ag leader or whatever. I like to put on it because it's going to be my planting tractor. That's the plan anyways. So now the plan is we need to get this uh, 4960. And I want to go get our disc that we have. We're going to go over there and get the disc quick. This tractor started up nicely. I'm going to go get the disc. So I want to get 
both tractors over here ready to uh, disc right when the ground gets ready. So I'm going to have to go over this mound of snow here. Easy for this tractor. There we go. It wasn't even hard at all. So our other discs that we purchased last, uh, what was it, fall? It's over here still back at the farm. So I really want to get all my farm equipment away from my uh, truck dealer here and over and then kind of use this just for the dealer lot and that that over there will be all of our farm equipment where we store it at least do have some of my haying equipment back there but that's okay all right got that hooked up looks like that we could use a wash i'm surprised this rain hasn't washed off all this stuff that on here even though it's pretty cold out I'm gonna wash out all this uh, nasty uh, snow dust or snow dirt basically that accumulates on a disc over the winter nice and cleaned off like my John Deere is nice and clean got to make sure the John Deere looks nice and clean when it sees its uh, new case brother Pull this up here, right beside. So unfortunately, we're not going to be able to get in the field today or do any uh, tillage. I've been itching all year long to get back in the field. Just can't wait. Get back in the field, start. We've got so much to do before we start planting that uh, really looking forward to getting back in the field so I can start that. But unfortunately, we can't do it just yet. We're, I'm going to get this uh, disc over here. I'm going to unfold it over here by the door so we can kind of give it a once over. Just make sure it's ready. Uh, maybe we'll uh, change the oil in our tractor here too. Just make sure everything's ready to go. Don't need anything that's... Uh, don't want to have any breakdowns or have to do an oil change in the middle of... Uh, go time that's for sure so I'm gonna just check all the tires here make sure they're aired up good make sure we don't have any uh, hydraulic leaks either in any of the hoses or the actuators also make sure all the discs free spin like they're all good to go so I need to go grab a grease gun grease this thing up so this thing has a lot of greasers but I will let you guys go hopefully this weather gets better for us and we could get in the field here soon but thank you all for watching and I will see you later here in Iowa Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe. See you next time.